I recently took a poll and found that 100% of the people in the tent were angry when it collapsed. The film opens with an unknown man as a director observes a tape where Fabian is next to an unmoving figure. The director nonchalantly plays with a blade and switches to a news broadcast. In the news, Fabian announces that his Z-team, recent winners of the best male action performer for their short movie, Kabi An, has been training for nine years in China, specifically at the famous Shaolin Monastery. Now, they aim for success in Hollywood. The scene intensifies as the initial video restarts, showing Fabian brandishing a stick and assaulting a man. He throws the stick at the camera, asking angrily, Are you happy now? Next, a 24-hour film captures a vibrant celebration. Fabian is deeply involved in an intense talk with his buddy Jess, not noticing someone spying on them. The situation gets tense, and Fabian leaves the house abruptly. The story gets more intriguing as we see a person adeptly unlocking a door, hiding a camera in a bag, and starting covert watching. Attention turns to Mei Lu, Fabian's partner, meeting a shadowy person. Suddenly, a black car arrives. The suspense heightens as the director watches Fabian and his group on many screens, hinting at a complex and thrilling situation. The suspense peaks when Fabian, along with pals Jess Lohan and Didier, gets a call. The enigmatic caller demands Fabian's attention, revealing Mei Lu's abduction. A frightening clip shows Mei Lu tied to a chair. In a frenzy, Fabian checks a nearby trash bin and finds belts, adding urgency to the crisis. Another call leads Fabian to hand the phone to Jess. The anonymous voice tells Fabian to put on a belt, saying it will show their whereabouts. Hesitantly, he ties the belt around his neck, while the director watches the tense scene. The phone becomes the only way for Fabian and his friends to talk. Ignoring the caller's commands risks may lose safety, adding suspense. As pressure builds, Fabian and his team prepare to follow the caller's directions. With only five minutes left before a truck's arrival, they argue fiercely, then rush on all fours to the set spot. Arriving, they see a truck and security guards come out. A police car also appears. Lohan bravely battles the guards, Jess grabs a weapon from a police vehicle, and Fabian takes a bag from a guard. Together, they pull off a bold getaway. The director then calls them to leave the money bag in a bin. Next, they're told to wait in a cafe. After counting down, they're instructed to get the bag back, just as a police car drives past, smoothly completing the handover. The director then guides them to sit in a vehicle and gives them an address, a deserted hospital. In the car, they think about asking for police help, but decide against it, unsure about secretly reaching out to Fabian's friend in the force. They leave the car and arrive at the desolate hospital. The director keeps watching them closely. Inside, Fabian finds a cell phone in a room and gets another call. The group demands May lose freedom before doing anything more, but the caller is unyielding. The mysterious voice tells Fabian to go to a church alone for May Lu's swap. As Fabian makes his way there, the man keeps an eye on him. Inside, Fabian sees a gang boss holding someone captive. Trying to find out about Melu, Fabian interrogates the boss. An incoming call interrupts, marking the money trade's end. The enigmatic caller has a new order. Fabian must work on his film. Surprisingly, the caller knows about the church's cameras. The gang attacks Fabian one by one, but with outstanding martial arts and quick kicks, Fabian overcomes them. Finally, he confronts the boss and, after a short fight, wins. Fabian then grills the defeated boss about Manlu, but he says he doesn't know, revealing they were hired to fight Fabian for a film. After freeing the held man, Fabian gets another call from the director, who praises his performance. Unshaken, Fabian promises to find both the director and Manlu, threatening the director's life. However, the director replies that as long as Fabian leaves, he can find Manlu, assuring a happy ending in the next seven minutes. With resolve, Fabian hurries, urged to go to Carity Dojo Corner, Huna Wilshire. He quickly leaves as the countdown starts. Meanwhile, police encircle Abaddon Hospital, leaving Jess Lohan and Didier cornered. Desperately, Lohan reaches out to the director, asking for help to get away. Amid the turmoil, Lohan fiercely battles three cops, knocking them out before fleeing. The group faces more police opposition, sparking another clash. 
Successfully avoiding capture, they move through underpasses and make it to the main floor. The director guides them, suggesting they hide as the police close in. Seizing the chance, they surprise attack the police, knocking them out. The director then tells them to go upstairs, steps in armed, and makes another call, guiding them to a gray car and sharing its location. Armed with this knowledge, the trio hurries to the car, readying for the next part of their escape. At the Karate Dojo, students are training when Fabian enters and sits down. A call from the director reveals this is a reality film, and the growing worry for Melu has raised the stakes. Curious, Fabian asks about the dojo, then challenges both the master and students. Displaying skill and resolve, Fabian overcomes all of them. The director rings again, giving the next destination. Elsewhere, a man pays Fabian's allies. The director reassures the man that he'll soon deliver the rest of the money. Intrigued, the man wonders why the director wants Fabian's downfall, only to learn it's part of the script. Shocked, the man struggles with this twist. Jess Lohan and Didier reach their location, but find themselves trapped as the door shuts. The director calls again, instructing them to fend off those trying to steal their money. A tense gun battle erupts against the gang. Amid the chaos, Jess is tragically hit. In response, Lohan defeats the gang leader. Didier hurries to Jess's side, while Lohan takes down another gang member. Despite their best efforts, Jess's wounds prove fatal. Grieving, Lohan gets a call from the director, who ignores her threats and reveals the next destination, giving her just eight minutes. At the same time, the director tells Fabian to wear a hidden camera found in a bag near a bin and to drink something. He then gives Fabian another location, the most perilous part of LA, testing Fabian's courage. Even with the director's malevolent plans, Fabian stands resolute. Elsewhere in the city, a gang, upset about the director's recording losing its signal, finds Fabian. They cost him, demanding cash at gunpoint. Fabian, using his martial arts skills, disarms a gang member, shoots, and flees. The gang chases Fabian into a factory, where he briefly blocks them by shutting the door. The gang breaks through the door and attacks Fabian. He fights back, demonstrating his exceptional dragon kung fu. As the gang encircles him, Fabian gets another call from the director, who emotionlessly orders him to defeat everyone. A gang member taunts him, threatening his girlfriend, which makes Fabian furiously unleash a series of lethal moves, overcoming each gang member. In a final act of defiance, he throws a rod at the camera, asking the director, Are you happy now? In a restaurant, Lohan and Didier ask about Chan. Daxiang leads them to Chan, who discloses that the director set up a contest where the fight's victor would get an envelope. Lolan tries to grab the envelope, causing a tense situation. Inside the fighting arena, a combatant mocks Lohan and Didier. The pair responds with a show of remarkable martial arts, using kicks and aerial punches to outmatch their rivals. Chan then confronts Didier revealing this scenario is part of a film where both he and his sibling are scripted to die. The intense fight starts with Chan initially getting the better of Didier, landing a flurry of punches and kicks. But Didier gets up and fights back. They engage in a tough battle, with Didier eventually overpowering Chan and winning. Meanwhile, Lowen battles another opponent, creating a chance for Didier to take an envelope from the defeated Chan. However, as Didier tries to leave, Chan shoots him from behind. Lohan attacks Chan, and during the struggle, Didier tragically dies. Elsewhere, Lohan uses a key from the envelope to open a box, finding a phone number inside. He calls it and reaches Fabian, telling him he's the last one standing. Later, Lohan reaches the warehouse where Fabian is, while the director watches them from afar on his screen. Lohan gets a call from the director, who shows a distressing video of Lohan's wife, Lili, and Melu tied up. Distraught, Lohan begs the director to free his wife. However, the director gives a grim choice. The winner of an upcoming fight will decide Lili and Melu's fate. Reluctantly, Lohan agrees to battle Fabian. They engage in a fierce fight, displaying kung fu moves and aerial strikes. The fight is evenly matched, with both Fabian and Lohan falling at times. In a desperate act, Lohan tries using a knife from the wall, but Fabian dodges encounters with kicks and punches. 
Eventually, Fabian lands a decisive kick, causing Lohan to collapse and ultimately die. Seeing the sad end, Fabian is filled with grief and apologizes. Fabian gets a call from the director and walks into a room, reminiscing about past times with Melu from a party. At the same time, the director is seen packing up, then going to a place where the screens display price of success. He returns, calm, and observes Fabian on the screen. In the kitchen, Fabian finds a box with a CD labeled Last Act. Following what's written, he heads to room number 204. There he confronts someone, beating him to get details about Melu. The scene shifts to a flashback in that same recording room. Fabian is sitting in that room when the doorbell rings. He opens the door to find the director. Fabian explains it's an office, and the director talks about having the screenplay. The director admits the script's dangers, and Fabian offers half of the profits, claiming it's for their benefit. However, we see Fabian ending the director's life. He takes the camera and goes to the room where Lili and Melu are bound. Fabian tells them about Lohan's demise, but shares the happy news that she's now an action hero. Hearing this, Lili and Melu cry. In a twist, Fabian reveals he's been behind the whole complex plot. After hours of editing, he triumphantly announces his movie's completion. Melu is shocked and angry upon learning his role in the elaborate scheme. But Fabian has another surprise. He plans to make his own film and pulls out a rope. It becomes evident that Fabian has been the architect of every plot twist. The camera shows his careful planning, including the last act inscription on room 204, leading to the final reveal. Written and directed by Fabian Garcia. Facing the camera, he states, here is the price of my success. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.